Hey folks, as you can see, I am finally here with an official witch room reveal. I know, I know, it's been a minute. You've all seen my altar and some quick snaps now of this room on other platforms. But I did record a big portion of the process for you, so I figure I might as well still come and share it. Plus, I thought it could be fun to take a moment to discuss what the witch room, as I jokingly call it, what it means to me, its previous iterations, and why this just felt so damn refreshing, other than the very obvious lick of paint. So let's get into it. As you see me in super speed pack away my altar, I didn't film the laying back out of the room because that felt like something that was just for me but obviously I'll show you the reveal at the end and what it all looks like. This however felt very cathartic, selfishly, to come back and watch. Um, there's many reasons, memories and previous iterations of this room and what it represented or what it could have represented that felt like it held some of those pains to be honest so other than my consistent joking about the damn wallpaper which probably isn't that bad but i had got sick of it if i'm honest and it's not my style it never was yeah other than that there was actually a lot beneath that so the room starts out as a dining room yes this is a dining room table which i have no good reason to replace. I have just made it work for whatever purpose I'm using it for. We had hoped eventually to have children and that's what I mean by it was a holding room but unfortunately my partner and I cannot have kids and we're not very dining room people on our own. <laughs> we're quite happy with trays on laps. So this room swiftly went from that to an opportunity to do something else with, which I very much wanted to take so that it changed the, the energy in the room. And my partner called it my spa room. It was a space where I did a lot of colouring, some other artwork. I used to do a lot of yoga, a lot of long meditationals. Over time, what I could and couldn't do with my body continued to change and so some of these things were also things that I could no longer do. And it left me with this empty space again, which I really didn't want to leave, I didn't want to waste. 2020 brought with it further changes and I was no longer seeing clients indoors so they weren't coming through the house. I realised that I was able to finally give myself an altar space and breathe out into the room in a way that really worked for me, where I could have all of my books up, all of the things that I can still engage with and less of the memories of things that I can't or that never came to be. It was quite apparent that I was finding the space overwhelming and not just because of the chaotic wallpaper. And so my partner just upped and decided he would do it for me as you could see him just a glimpse of him there I used to be the painter decorator DIY gal of our house but again that's not something I can do anymore however I did participate in a little bit of the cutting in and just being present because I suppose I wanted to put my seal on it you know be a part of the change but he really whipped this around quickly we painted over the wallpaper because we long-term rent and it just makes life easier we are hoping to buy eventually but it looks so different and i quite like that the pattern comes through like this i think it's just a fun little touch and with that here's the reveal this is a process shot because i couldn't do it all in one day naturally one of the things that I noticed was it felt so spacious, both in a good way, a tiny bit strange at first. I can't really put pictures and shelving on the wall where we are at the moment, although I would like to. But honestly, as time goes on, this has just been the refreshment that I needed. I feel so happy and so thankful to my partner. I cannot express it enough. 
So yeah, that's me. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing the final outcome and I'll see you soon.